Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Okay, this is a response to a poll that I did. And the question was, how well do you know your partner? And there was 10 questions on there. And there was two responses you could give. So questions one through five was one response. And questions six through 10 was the other response. And the results are in, and it was just tied straight down the middle from the responses. Now, I had an opportunity to go through there and reply personally and privately to the same questions I asked you guys. And I must say, I did pretty good. But it wasn't about doing good, great, or getting a hundred. The poll was really to allow us to get to know where we are and what we need to grow in what areas. And I would like to just kind of say, as a coach with relationships, I always try to explain to couples that they constantly want to keep on getting to know each other. You never have a 100% need to stop understanding your partner, meaning continue growing with them, continue to want to know what's up with them. And always know, you can date when you're in high school, and by the time you get 30, 40 kids, careers, everything going and flowing, there's gonna be some changes. It could be basic changes, you know, food, situation, career, vacations, stuff like that. Their opinion may change on it, their taste may change, or they may grow in areas sexually. They may grow in areas of life, like they wanna expand, they wanna do something different. They may, you may have met them and they didn't want to move out of a certain city. Now, growth, time, age, they're like, hey babe, let's move to another country or hey babe, let's move to another state. So the poll was only to reiterate where we're at and to continue growing with our partner. And also to allow you to have fun with it. To pat yourself on the back and say, you know what? I'm good. I pay attention to my partner, which is exciting, you know? But I will never give up learning my husband or learning my son or learning business, the careers that I do or the businesses I own or hobbies. I constantly want to keep growing in everything I do in life. So thank you for answering the poll. Like I said, no right or wrong answer. It was only to reiterate, continue learning your partner, continue learning in life, and never get so much 100% confidence that you give up learning the things you love most. Now, Let's reflect real quick before I get off. I don't want to make this a long video that when you see them couples that's been together 20, 30, 40 years, like back in the day, they could finish each other's sentences and they already knew and they were grooving with each other, with their energy, their synergy, their spirituality, and they was in a spot, in a place that was so beautiful. We're losing that in this generation, in this society, because we're trying to replace or get something new or whatever. And I just want us to love, adore, embrace what we already have that we admire and keep on growing with them, keep on learning them, keep on adding sparks and ideas and situations and, and never just give up our babies our man, our girlfriends, our kids, our careers. Learn, grow, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power, always remember that. My husband always says, time is your most valuable asset. 
So when we say we don't have time, that's a lie. Because we make time for what we want. Whatever that is. I can tell you right now, I can be in the middle of something. Whatever that something is. I wouldn't care if I was in another state, across the country, wherever. If my son calls me right now, I'm getting to him. I'm answering the phone. I'm making time. And we've got to continue to do that with our partners. We can't keep on making excuses, well, we both work, or we got the kids, or we got this. When you have a situation, learn your partner. Take time out to get to know your partner. Give ideas, play games. And remember, we make time for what we want. You can, you can do all kinds of games to learn your partner. You can do an erotic scrabble game, you know, where words that erotically stimulate you. You can do a, a game where what's the three things you want to do in the next year? You can do a, a situation where, okay, babe, I pick the restaurant one month, you pick the restaurant the next month. Or, what's the type of food you would like to try? Or, where would you like to go? What do you want to do? You're constantly growing, getting to know your partner. So, thanks for voting. You guys are awesome. And, like I said, no right or wrong answer. It just shows us where we're at, allows us to keep growing, pushing, going, and walking in love. I love you guys. Keep up the good work. Stay focused. And come back for my next video. Also, I'm on social media. Just put in my name. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. I pop up. Click like. Love you guys. Mwah. Talk to you soon.